Greetings Earthlings! I am here today with a Marshalls and TJ Maxx makeup haul. I don't do these very often because I don't leave the house much, but I have one here today and I'm very excited because I found some super cool stuff. But before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I am still about halfway from making it to a thousand where I can finally get ads and possibly make money. So please subscribe. I would appreciate it so much. Start going on with the, what I have here. So first I'm going to start with this. This is the Benefit Cosmetics Brow Contour Pro. Now everyone knows Benefit makes amazing brow products and I'm using their Gimme Brow right now. And this, when it first came out, I was like super excited about it. I'm like, that is so cool. Cause it's like one of those retros 90s pens, but it has a whole bunch of different brow pencils. It has a deeper shade, a lighter shade, a highlighter, and a definer. And like, it's just like those old pens. Like you, yeah, it has all these different things to use. Problem is it's really creamy and I make a really big mess. Now it does have a definer one, which is a lighter shade. That's kind of like a concealer, but I still, I still make a mess. I just like something that's uh, a little bit harder and uh, isn't as smooth. Don't get me wrong, I'll still use this, you know, when I run out of my good stuff, because this is a really cool thing, and I only paid $9.99 for this. I think it's like $32 regular price, but uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't spend full price on this, because it turns out I don't like it that much. And this is in brown, black, and light. Okay, so moving on. Oh, by the way, I am not wearing this right now. I, I've used it a handful of times and I'm not, not thrilled. We have by MAC, this is Travel Exclusive in Extreme Dimension Lash times two. So this set was only $16.99 and it comes with two full size MAC in Extreme Dimension mascaras. I love this mascara and I was so stoked to find it. A two pack for $17. And not only do I know that they were completely unopened, they were plastic wrapped. That's so cool. I'm uh, wearing it right now and I gotta say, I was putting it on and I just remembered how much I love it. And what an awesome feel this was. Thank you, Marshalls, for this awesome MAC mascara. Okay, moving on. I have another MAC product. It is a lipstick. This is Love Me Lipstick. And this is in the shade Give Me Fever. It has a little ombre thing going on, probably a holiday thing. Um, it's just a, a pretty red color. I haven't swatched it yet. I was gonna wear it today, but I'll explain to you why I didn't. But let's go ahead and swatch it now. I think in my last Marshalls and TJ Maxx video, I had gotten a set of, I think it was like last year's holiday lipsticks from MAC and it was super cool. That's a really pretty color. I like that, that's a very good Christmas color. I have by Jouer, this is the Jouer Jeffree Star Longwear Lip Topper with Coconut Oil. This was $3.99. Oh, by the way, this MAC lipstick was only $7.99. Um, but at TJ Maxx, I found this Jouer Lip Topper for $3.99. I haven't tried it yet, but I think I might now, because it kind of goes with this lipstick. And I don't know why, I've never had anything from Jouer before, but this is like, this has a really weird thing on it. Like it's supposed to stick into something else. I don't know. Um, I don't have a mirror in front of me. So let's swatch this first and then I'll put it on. Ooh, it's very Barbie. I love it. Uh, the lipstick that I'm wearing isn't completely dry, but. Oh well, let's try it. Oh, wow. Shiny, pretty, shimmering, splendid, right? Yeah, it just has a little bit of shine. I think um, it's too much of like the same exact color of what I'm already wearing, so it doesn't show up as much, but 
Yes, that was the Jouer Jeffree Star Lip Topper for $3.99. Another lip product that I got and I put it on before I put on my lipstick was this by Lanage, Lanage, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, it is a glowy lip balm. I use their sleep mask lip balm thing, but this is a lip gloss and it was $9.99. I know they sell this at Sephora. This one is in grapefruit. It feels really nice. It's a really nice lip balm. Um, it's not as thick, obviously, as their nighttime lip mask, but it's it like it's good for the day. I really like it. It feels really nice, and um, I wouldn't mind it in more flavors. I guess it's shades. Is it shades though? I don't know. Okay, moving on by Urban Decay. I found a heavy metal liquid eyeliner and I've always wanted one of these, but the shade that I found is Sticks and Bones and it's like a dark purple color. It would probably actually go with my eyeshadow today. Let's swatch it. Okay. Yeah, that's not my favorite. In certain lights, it looks pretty, but then in other lights, it looks ugly. But this was only $6.99, and I'm sure I'll find a time where I want to wear it. I have to, right? But I got a lot more glitter than just that. I found this whole set by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Loose glitter set and this was $19.99. I am wearing it on my eyes right now. Can you see that? Oh, so sparkly. I had a really hard time with it. I made such a big mess. I was smart enough though to do my eyes before my face because I knew this was going to be messy. And look how pretty the packaging is. Look at the iridescence. Oh my goodness. My last like three uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx makeup hauls have had Anastasia Beverly Hills loose glitters. I mean, I think all the ones I found the last time were Halloween glitters, so they were like bright orange and bright green. And they've been having a lot of sets places too. Like I also found a big, huge holiday liquid lipstick set in a beautiful pink glittery package. I know, packaging, I, it gets to me. But this comes with five loose glitters. They're all incredibly similar. They all have like different like shifts and undertones and stuff. But like the first one I picked out, I had, I really didn't even know what it was going to look like. I think it was this one right here. And I think it was called Frozen. No, Frosted. Yeah, it was this one, Frosted. And I put it on and it was like straight blue. Like, but it was pretty. And then so... I wanted to add some pink. Which one did I add? I can't even tell them apart. They all look alike. Um, no, this one's called Mistletoe. I think it was this one. Snowfall. Was it this one? I don't remember. I don't, but I added a pinky one. They really, they all look alike. At least they definitely look alike in the bottle. There's one called Glisten. And it came with... Uh, a glitter adhesive too, which is really cool. And it worked really well. I um I learned that I should probably let it dry a little bit though before I start sticking the glitter on. But regardless, the glitter got freaking everywhere. It was all over my clothes, all over my face. There is still some on my face, all over my floor. But glitter is just so pretty and amazing. Who doesn't love to be covered in glitter? And speaking of more glitter, I found this nail polish by OPI. I did my nails last night and I almost put it on, but then I was dumb and I didn't. But it's just a pretty iridescent, uh, like opal shift kind of color, just a glitter topper kind of thing. Um, I have other glitter toppers that kind of look like this and they look best like on top of black nail polish because it really makes it pop and makes the colors just shine so beautifully. This is in the shade All a Twitter in Glitter. And this was $3.99. Okay, um, I did find a fragrance, something that I haven't been picking up for a long time. And I'll tell you, I almost bought another one today. I found a Moogler at Bell's Outlet, but then I didn't, and I wish I did, but it was $40. But 
it was still a good price. Anyway, I digress. I did not get that, but I did get this. This is the DKNY limited edition cool swirl. It's uh, delicious delights. I found the pink one of this in New York City like two and a half years ago. And uh, usually these ones, I like to find the unique ones like this. This, I can't tell if it's supposed to be that green in the bottle. Uh, this is definitely from several seasons ago. I don't know if this is bad. Hopefully it's not. Um, I did not look up the notes before I bought it, but I didn't care because it was only $17.99. And I have, do I have lipstick on my teeth? I do. Oh my goodness. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, gross. Anyway, um, I needed it to go with the pink one that I have and I don't like it that much. It's very much a pear cucumbery scent and that's just not my thing. And for something that's supposed to be, you know, dessert, I mean, look, it's like ice cream. It's a, it just smells so fruity. I mean, they are like apples. So I don't know what I was expecting, but oh well. Okay, and then I, um, I've been really into using my uh, diffuser, oil diffuser thing to make my room smell good. I've been using peppermint a lot because Christmas, and I found this set. It is from a brand called Sensuals, Natural and Organic Skin Care. Skin Care. Um, holiday essential oil set. Comes with Christmas memories, fresh evergreen, and gingerbread latte. I tried the Christmas memories one last night. It's very... Um, incense-y. They're, uh, they're very deep fragrances. I had actually gotten another one too by the same brand and they were also holiday ones and one of them was like winter snow or something like that. They were just more mm, like nature-y ones and oh they smelled horrible. They smell so bad. Um, but this was $7.99 and I took a risk getting another one knowing how bad the first pack went. Um, but I don't know. Okay, last thing, and if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I am a huge Betsy Johnson fan. I found a necklace that I'm currently wearing. It's a little gingerbread man necklace and it's so cute! <gasps> Oh, I love gingerbread so much, and I love Betsy Johnson, and I love Christmas, and look, he's got a little bite out of his head. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Um, It was only, oh, it was originally $48, but I paid, I don't know where the price tag went, but it was, I think, $16. Like, it was I, I mean, I wouldn't have spent $48 on it, but $16, yeah. And it's so cute. Perfect for Christmas. Oh, no, there was one last thing that I got. Where did I leave it? I'll be right back. Don't move. This. I got this incredibly ugly, ugly Christmas sweater. Look, it's got this reindeer plushie stuck to the front and all of these jiggle bells and tinsel. I thought about wearing it in this video, but I'm like, it's gonna be so annoying every time I move and you just hear the jingle bells, which when I wear it for Christmas, I'm absolutely gonna love. But for a video, it's a little much. And this was $16.99. Christmas. I love it. I love it. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about hot coffee when it becomes room temperature or as this one is cold. The chestnut praline, oh my goodness. Uh, can we uh, be a little upset by the fact that they didn't bring back gingerbread again? Gingerbread's the best flavor ever. Starbucks. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe again. <laughs> Christmas present for moi. And I will see you later. Also, like, please like this video. So I know that you want more TJ Maxx and Marshall's makeup hauls. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, happy holidays and uh, bye.